The Ore Express is a high-resolution field-portable spectrometer for mineral identification and analysis during exploration. The Ore Express is powered by two lithium-ion batteries for field use. To scan samples in the field, the Ore Express offers two contact probes with different spot sizes, 10 mm and 3 mm. The 10 mm contact probe includes a 2x2 two two white reference standard. The Ore Express uses three solid-state photodiode array detectors. The rugged design ensures field reliability with no moving optical parts to break down. The Ore Express has a power cable and fiber optic cable that connect to the contact probe or benchtop probe. The fiber optic cable is field removable and a wrench is provided with the instrument. On the back is a USB connection for a laptop, a power connection where the cable from the battery is attached, Bluetooth antenna, and on-off switch. Connect the battery cable to the battery, push in the connector, and tighten the locking screw. Do the same when connecting the other end to the Ore Express. Each battery provides three to four hours of power in the field. Each battery comes with its own charger. Connecting a computer with the USB cable is simple and straightforward. Attaching a contact probe or desktop probe requires connecting the power supply cable and fiber optic cable from the Ore Express. Remove the blue protective fiber cover. Here we are connecting the standard 10 mm spot size contact probe. The fiber optic cable attaches by lining up the flat spot on the cable connector with the flat spot on the probe. The fiber optic cable remains connected until you press the quick release. Line up the red dots on the instrument and the power cable connection and insert. To begin scanning with the mineral contact probe, take a reference scan using the 2x2 two two white plate. Hold the probe against the reference standard and select Reference Scan in the Darwin software. The Ore Express is also available with the mini probe that has a 3 mm spot size. The fiber and power cables connect the same way as the standard contact probe. On the bottom of the mini probe handle is a built in white reference standard. Unclip it from the probe and clip it over the probe window and take your reference scan, once again using the Darwin software. Once a reference is taken, turn on the external trigger in Darwin. The mini probe allows a researcher to focus on smaller features in a sample. Place the mini probe directly in contact with your sample to scan. Darwin SP data acquisition software controls the Ore Express. Darwin runs under the Windows operating system, Windows 7, 8, or 10 on a laptop, desktop, or tablet. Using the instrument control panel, connect to the Ore Express using Bluetooth. Select where you want your scan data stored. Use the mini probe's built in white reference and select Reference Scan in Darwin. Turn on the external trigger from Darwin. Then select Easy ID Match Analysis from Darwin's menu. Scan a target sample with the contact probe. Easy ID includes the USGS library for pattern matching against known samples. The USGS library includes the JPL library for a total of 470 spectra for 314 minerals. In addition, there are two optional libraries, the SpecMin library and the GeoSpec library. SpecMin has 1,528 spectra for 494 minerals. The GeoSpec library has 688 spectra for 239 minerals. The minerals were from the Colorado School of Mines Museum collection and scans were taken with the ultra-high resolution SR6500 spectra radiometer. This is a scan of kaolinite, a clay. The samples of kaolinite from the different libraries are slightly different, different locations, but all have the same basic chemical composition. 
To provide additional understanding of your samples, EasyID has added scalars. Scalars can enhance the geologist's understanding of crystallinity changes, alteration pattern shifts, and geochemical conditions at formation. In this example, we will use the USGS Single Mineral Library. We are going to scan this blue feature in a sample using the mini probe. The full scan matches best to a sample of azurite we have in the library. Further identification and unmixing of other minerals that might be present can be accomplished by creating match regions. Match regions tell the software to focus only on certain absorption features for matching. You can add as many match regions as you want and use the regions and combinations of regions to discover other minerals present in the sample. The results are displayed in score tables below the scans. You can have as many score tables as you need. Now we'll identify this green feature on the same sample. This time we have chosen the Specmin library and EasyID matches to a sample of malachite. You can build your own library by selecting the Custom Library Builder option from the EasyID tab in Darwin. Start by right-clicking on the scan window in Darwin to show the metadata editor. It will appear below the scan window. Select Choose Metadata Fields from the right side window. Select from predefined fields and define your own custom fields. Enter values in these fields. They appear below the scan window. Name and save the library as you scan, or do that later. Select Send to EasyID Library from the right-hand column. The OR Express allows a geologist to scan in the field or in the core shack. The Algis 8X is a rugged handheld tablet running Darwin LT on Windows 10. It is a small size with an 8-inch capacitive screen. It features a hot swappable lithium ion battery and two cameras, rear and front facing. It is IP65 rated with Bluetooth connection to our instruments and USB connection to a PC. You connect to our field spectrometers and spectral radiometers using Bluetooth. The Ore Express and two lithium ion batteries go in a backpack for field use. The back of the Ore Express faces out and the backpack is open. Each battery will last for about three hours of field scanning with some variation depending on temperature. All files and data are saved in ASCII format for easy use with other software programs. For more information on the Ore Express and EasyID, visit www.spectralevolution.com.